Hi, you press the driver start, but the drum doesn't spin. You check the door switch, it's working. You check the thermal fuse, it's okay. And you also check the timer. It looks working. At this moment, you need to take off your dryer motor to take a look. Today, I'm going to show you how to test the dryer motor. Let's start. For troubleshooting first, I always take the physical check. Take a look. The wire, the connectors, terminals, if there's any physical damage. The second, I also to smell if there's a burned smell. And then for the motor, I usually spin the shaft to see if it's a spin smoothly. If it's not, most likely the bearing seized. You need to replace the bearing or the whole motor. Next, I'm going to check the dryer motor winding resistance. I use the meter uh, probe to connect it with these terminals. If you know why I connected it here, take a look at this drawing. So that's the M5 and the M4. I measure the start and the run winding resistance. They also here include thermal protectors. So if I measure here, let me start. You can see it's a two ohms. So that means the thermal protector is okay. The winding is okay. At least one winding is connected. Why I say that? Because here has the, uh, has the centrifuge switch. If I simulate motor is running, make this switch off, cut off the starter winding after motor run, you can see at this moment, we measure only the wrong winding resistance. That's supposed to be resistance getting bigger. Let's see. I use my hand to simulate this. You can see right now, I measured only the wrong winding resistance. It's 3.7 ohms or 4.2, 3.7. I release that, so it's a 2.0. That means both winding working. The last check I'm going to the run test to apply the voltage to the motor to see if it's running and uh, hear how is the noise and also see how much current they draw. You can hear there's a little bit of noise the click sound is that uh, the motor central field switch, when they start the click in, the current, they draw 4.4 amps. So it is still in the range of the motor. The motor on the name plate is at least the 4.8. This is the motor name plate. You can see here, the motor is 1.4 horsepower, 115 watt. 60 hertz, 4.8 amps. When you run your dryer, you might experience after around 20 minutes, it will stop. But after cool down, like waiting for a few hours later, you can start run again. These symptoms are most likely the dryer motor draw more current than rated current. So the thermal protector inside the motor tripped. After cool it down, it closed. You can run again. So there is either the motor uh, fall faulty or there is something resistance, more resistance, either in the circulation fans there, and you need to check. I met one experience, the socks stuck in the circulation there and make this happen. Another one, is if you start the dryer, you hear the humming sound. The dryer doesn't spin. It's most likely this is a, the bearing seized or something really stuck and won't let the motor spin. 
If you press use dryer start button, it won't start or won't stay on. Please click this video. If you dryer, after you start it, the drum spin, but it doesn't heat, please hit this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this short video, please hit like button and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next time.